Hello everyone, Rissy Toothpick here, back again with some more Sherlock Holmes The Awakened. And let's talk to this individual again. You'd best have found something by now, gentlemen. And yeah, we got a whole bunch we can tell them here. I found the residue of narcotics in Kimihir's brazier. There are several explanations, perhaps your servant's recreational interest, or an attempt at poisoning. Cut to the chase, Mr. Holmes. I fear that someone may have spied upon Kimmy here. Likely the owner of the spyglass I found earlier. It appears they were watching for some time, as there was an impressive amount of chewing tobacco on the ground. And your point? It's very weird because, like, he's a servant, so he doesn't really have a lot of, like, like confidential information. So it's very weird that they spent so much time watching him. You said that you checked the shack earlier. Did you notice the cart tracks near it? Now, one ought to expect a servant to make regular use of such a thing. Indeed, I would have overlooked the detail were it not for the cart's absence. If, as you say, Kimmer here never leaves your estate, then where did it go? I expect answers from you, Mr. Holmes, not questions. I won't keep you in suspense any longer, Captain. Kimmer here was abducted by the owner of the spyglass. When your servant fell asleep, he slipped a narcotic into Kimahir's brazier to make him sleep even more soundly. In order to carry a man as large as Kimahir, the intruder stole the cart and rolled him right out of your garden. Now, hold on. All this simply to tell me what I already know. Why haven't you found him yet? I only arrived a moment ago. It is, frankly, incredible that I have already deduced so much. Every second you dawdle here, waiting for me to stroke your ego, is another second wasted. I'm not interested in the how, the why, or the who. I am only interested in recovering my investment. Spare me the claptrap, boy, and go and fetch my servant. Oh yeah, let's, let's be mean. Captain, you are so addled by delusions of competency that you miss the blindingly obvious. Without the assistance of others, you are utterly incapable. Kimmy here endured your nonsense far longer than I will. Uh, the point is, Captain, we're telling you this for a reason. The intruder fled through the garden door, and we need a key to follow his trail. Well, then you should have led with that. Here you go. I hope you'll return soon with good news. And in the meantime, please teach your companion the art of brevity. Alrighty, so now we have the key. And let's go see if we can actually um, find the kidnapped uh, servant. Or at least get some more information that can be useful. Oh, here we go. So at least we know that they went that way. Let's see if we can find anything else on this pathway. A doll. Hmm, what does it say? No seams or torn fabric on this doll. Likely one-legged by design. Okay. Hey ho, street pigeons and roof ravens, another treasure hunt is upon you. With a clue in hand, it's up to you to find all the dolls. Okay. A treasure hunt. Used to do lots of those in my childhood, myself and... Is it a call for help? A bad joke. Or both. Better not risk leaving this matter ignored, don't you think? Okay. So we've been, we've, we're finding some things. A large pile of horse droppings. So they used a horse... Look at that purse right there. That looks very suspicious. Oh. Cigarettes. Many cigarette butts. Someone stood here for hours. There was a cab waiting here. Our abductor slipped in and then off into the night. It's just so suspicious because they waited like they spent so much time. They spent so much time like watching this guy and trying to capture him. All 
Alrighty, so what are we missing? Let's see, so there's really nothing here. Oh, we can follow this, okay. Oh, there's a guy chilling right here. Do you know anything about this? I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. Okay. Let me go back real quick, so we're following the dirt here. We know he turned. We come to oh yeah, look at that. You can definitely see the Ooh. Well, there's trails on like both sides, but I'm guessing this one? There's so many like dirt trails now that we're kind of getting in trouble here, but this looks suspicious over here. Ooh, there's a cat. Lots of dead ends. Whoa. <laughs> There's, well, now we're finding different weird things. A model of a homely room and fireplace. <laughs> we found something we shouldn't have found. Chimney bears a peculiar form, like it's meant to have something put inside. Interesting. Secret yard. Looks like a factory to me. There's a lot of secrets in this game, apparently. What could get the gears inside moving? It looks like we need all three of these to be operational. A small minecart. Endearing, if disturbing. Looks like putting something in the slot may get the gears inside to move. Alright, well, let's see what we can find in here. Children's clothes, judging by the size. Oh, this kind of sucks. Hey ho, street pigeon and roof ravens. Another treasure hunt is upon you. With a clue in hand, it's up to you to find all the dolls. I think we've already found that doll. Padlocks have names etched onto them. Anne, Tom, Charles. What a grim view. There's nothing else in here. Say, do we see anything by changing these? Not really. But it's pretty neat. We found this little area. Unfortunately, really nothing here, but there's like a bloody hatchet. That looks weird. That looks like it's not supposed to be here. And a dead end. Alrighty, but I think it's about time we get back onto our uh, abductor's uh, trail. So, let's go... There's barns again. You know, we never checked back here. Another doll. 
Oh, these are the these dolls go into the the thing. Okay. What's this? A miner with a sooty face, at least in doll form. Hey ho, street pigeons and sewer rats, another treasure hunt is upon you. With a clue in hand, it's up to you to find all the dolls. So we have, what, two dolls? Can we check our inventory? Yeah, we have the boy doll, the girl doll. We're just missing one doll. Okay, we found that one. And we found this one. So the only one we're missing is the one by, like, some street vendors. I mean, we might as well, you know, look for these street vendors. We already got like two of the dolls, two out of three. Get the strand. Yeah. Get your copy this of the strand. This is where we here. live, right here. Okay. There's some street vendors by a building. These look like the street vendors. Cat, do you got something for me? Oh, what is this? Oh, we got it. Unnaturally bent legs, yet they look to be a design choice. Seems to be for me. Hey ho, street pigeons and rainworms. Another treasure hunt is upon you. With a clue in hand, it's up to you find all the dolls. I think we got all the dolls. So now what we can do is we can go back. And I think we can place these three dolls into each one of those... Uh, little buildings and then we will be able to do whatever we want or at least probably unlock some keys that then we can use to get into that um those locks let's go in here let's see if i can like remember where it's at perfect We're getting the keys now. This is pretty cool. Oh, did she get her leg cut, maybe? Oh, that would be terrible. And this guy's got a messed up foot. Charles. All right, we got all the three keys. Let's go to the secret yard. What do we have in here? Mom. Last doll seems recently made. Anne Coldrain, age 12, cause of death, blood loss due to leg injury. Tom Gill, age 5, smog poisoning. Charles Potter, severe burns and de debilitating injuries. We Last episode, we were talking about how the kids were working and some of the reasons why they, they got rid of that. And this is the reason. Tom, Charles, Anne, and Mary. Oh, Mary. Sad, to be honest. What do we have now? A letter. You finally made it. You found the last piece of the puzzle, but it's not only the last piece in this hunt. It's the last piece ever, my street pigeons. I know to a lot of you, my riddles were the only glint of light in your day. But, shi but shining, shining, that soul beam meant being surrounded by complete darkness. For Charlie's death, the third of our foursome, my lips have lost the ability to smile. Life has forced us to work where we don't belong, squeezing what little light we had out of us. Each day ended with me praying that the next 
when I'd have to climb down the chimney again, breathe those awful fumes, listen to all the screams, would never come, and I don't even know how to pray. My friends thought I was the strongest, but with every loss I felt smaller and weaker, and now I feel nothing at all. So goodbye. I hope that one day you can fly away to warmer places, happier times, and never again be forced to give up your lives for scraps. Not sure I like the treasure hunt's ending. Could we really have saved her homes? No. Solving this crime is beyond my reach. It is society who must work on sparing children from death by hard labor. That's sad right there. And we got something out of that though. For hot days or cool fights, Cordona suit. So we got the Cordona suit. And we got the Watson Stylish suit. Interesting. Alright, but now it's time for us to get back onto the abduction. Oh, here we go. There was a collection of dolls scattered in the neighborhood around Baker Street. They were a game for local children, a treasure hunt to distract them from the horrors of life on the streets. Clues attached to every doll led to a secret yard, which held a locker containing the story of the game's creator. The brains behind the treasure hunt was a girl whose friends died due to their exploitation for child labor. She designed the game to be a light in the darkness for other street kids, but could carry on no longer. This was her last treasure hunt, designed to be a goodbye letter. What happened to her next is unknown, but the miniature of a girl floating under the bridge found the lost locker hints at no happy ending. Sad. I wonder if we can like find her floating. They all float down here. All right, now that we got that like little side quest kind of taken care of, let's see if we can try to find what we're looking for here. Cuz we've we've gone in a few places and really haven't found anything. Last thing we found was over here. We found something. <laughs> we just needed to go back. Roy Soulsby. Could that be the name of our man? Looks like we're nope. A strange substance. I have my suspicions based on the color and consistency. But would you care to hazard a guess, Doctor? Well, it's odorless, but from the way it absorbs water, I'd say salt, Peter. Then we're in agreement. Well done. All right, let's see if I can figure this out. Sturdy rope, professionally tied in a Portuguese bowline. This knot is often used by sailors to create a bosun's chair. Sailors knot? Wheels picked up grass along the way. Kimahir's cart, I gather. There we go. And it looks like we can now kind of investigate. Let me see if there's a bridge. There is. There's the bridge, probably. Let's see if we can see, like, children's clothing or something. Can't see anything. But maybe more later. Alrighty, so let me get all these out of the way. What are the notable features of the adductor? Oh, well, Sailor's Knot, definitely. And then we have the yellow, so something here. Close in the chimney, maybe? Abductor's Trail? We only got one. I must say, I think it has to be the spyglass, right? And 
And then uh, let's go with uh, the footprints. A particular knot, a spyglass, and the footprints of a working man's boots. They all add up to one conclusion. Kamiya's abductor is a sailor. Perfect. So I'm, I'm guessing now we can try this one. I'm guessing we have enough information. So two blues. What else, I wonder? Sailor's not maybe? Okay, well, hold on. Let's go with um, abductor's a sailor. That makes the most sense. We got one. Let's try the spyglass. Okay, but we're close. Perfect. We now know that Kamiya's kidnapper is most likely a sailor, that his wallet bears saltpeter residue, and that there was a recent saltpeter accident in the port of London. Everything suggests that to find Kamiya, we must head to the port of London. There is no time to lose. It is vital that we find a cab to the port of London immediately. Perfect. And then we'll pin that. The strand proved not so useless after all. The saltpeter accident. Doctor, do you recall? The port of London. Of course. The footwear, the spyglass. Indeed. We shall need to take a cab there. This is a dead end if I recall correctly. So we're going to have to turn around. But this is pretty good. We're kind of figuring it out. We were able to complete, well, you know, at least this part of the mission. And we were even able to do that side mission that was very sad. You know, if you think your life's hard, just think about the kids back then, you know. Just dying. Bodies littering the streets. I'm guessing maybe this guy? You can now return after leaving. Be sure to finish everything you want to do here. Is there anything we're missing? I don't think so. Got some greens here. I mean, I think we've pretty much explored a lot of this location, so I think we would have ran into anything, really. So I think we're good. Where to go? The Port of London, please. I will show you where to stop. To hell in a handcart. Mr. Holmes, what a compelling mystery we have stumbled upon. Perhaps I have the premise of my next novel. Uh, on kidnapping does not a story make. Stop! A black cat crossed before us. It's a bad omen. I did not take you for the superstitious type, Doctor. Such things are mere fantasies, tricks of a feeble mind. One imagines a physician would keep a surer footing in reality. Perhaps. Before the war, my time abroad was difficult. Once, I came across an Afghan, bleeding, who I could not save. He pressed a rosary into my hand. A gift, he said, so as to gain God's favor. After that... Dr. Watson? Yes, well, I shan't get into details, but sometime later I found myself lost in the desert. Dehydration set in. And things grew ever more dire. The man's words came to me. I said a prayer, placed the rosary on a rock. A gift to gain God's favor. And you were rescued? Yes. A detachment of British soldiers found me. To whom I'm grateful. For without their diligence, you would not be standing here and I would not have this case. I'm sure you have another explanation prepared, Mr. Holmes. 
But I think I shall cling to the occasional superstition all the same. To each his own, Dr. Watson. So long as it does not interfere with my methods, do it. We must press on, cat or no cat. The question remains, why abduct Kimmy here? Alrighty. The Cursed Mermaid. And it wants us to talk to bystanders about a piece of evidence. Found at the scene of Camilla's abduction, the card has some text printed on it reads Roy Soulsby, London. Well, let's pin that. We have some information here that we really can't do yet. So we'll have to come back to that later. And it wants us to talk to some bystanders, so let's see who we can meet here. Can I ask you a question? Oh, you're fortunate. I will help you. The man usually wanders close to the dockyard. Okay. Let's see what's in here. Oh, hardly a reputable establishment. I've seen worse. Very interesting place. Greetings, miss. I'm hoping you can help us. We shall soon see. Okay, provide evidence. That's weird. We can observe her. My colleague and I are seeking a burly man, above average height, with workman's boots. Half my customers, then. Your description hardly narrows things down. Interesting. I heard tell of a recent explosion in the port. What do you know of it? Ah, yes. Something exploded in a ship's cargo hold. Caused a terrible blaze. The sky was red with smoke till morning. Where precisely did it occur? The ship sank near the third pier, next to the dockyard. Let's, uh, observe her. I don't think we just barely started. So I don't think we have the evidence. Ooh, that was too fast. All I heard was pale. So she's sick. Morning sickness. Ooh. Pregnant? A bit distinted. A little too tight. Hmm. Unaware of her pregnancy or trying to hide her pregnancy is the question here. Let's let's assume she's trying to hide it. The barmaid is in the early stages of pregnancy, hence the slightly distended belly and hints of morning nausea. Chapped lips and a pale face indicate a lack of proper nutrition. However, she tries hiding her swollen belly by wearing trousers that are too tight for her. I mean, I guess we can tell her that. Your clothes are already tight, and soon they won't fit at all. How far along are you? I... I thought I'd hidden it better. How did you know? Are you a doctor? In a manner of speaking. He's not. He merely has the ego of one. I apologize, miss. Mr. Holmes is fond of his observations, but I am the doctor here, not him. Do you need any help? I'm fine, thank you. I would rather not discuss my condition, nor let word of it spread. Interesting. We don't really have any evidence yet, but it looks like we might need to come Mr. back here. Oh, no. No chance of a pint, then. Very interesting. So now, from there, let's kind of leave here. I don't think there's really anything else we need. And we came from over here. Okay, the guy we're looking for is near the dockyard. Oh man, this guy's kind of like sneaking up on us all the time. Very dark little place here. Help, Gervish missing for a week. Please tell if you see him. Asdaya in the port Shantytown, red rag over house entrance. Ok, 
Okay, a red rag. Maybe we need to talk to this individual. I mean, I guess we can go this way. Strong man needed for honest work. Carpenter. Really, nothing over here of real interest. We can skip that. Why would this be of importance? Just a locked door. All right, but let's look for this uh, this uh, shanty town red rag over the house because that might have be of importance. Probably need to go back. I'm uh, I'm assuming it's maybe one of those houses over here. Look at that seagull. Any dead body underneath the bridge, I'm still looking. It sounds as though those people will need my help. The silver tide. Oh wow. What is going on here? Hello, this is Dr. Watson. We'll take a look at your friend. Oh, right here. I'm like, who are we talking about? This guy that's like dead. Ooh, that does not look good. Initial stages of necrosis. He's gonna like lose his hand if he's not careful. The subject is hyperventilating. He has a pale face and dilated pupils. Freshly dug up treasures, it seems. Everything ends up in a river. It's a good thing these people take something from it. Water has a curious whitish tinge to it. Dilated pupils, decolorized skin, necrosis. What do you make of this, Doctor? All signs point towards acute poisoning. It could possibly be due to chemicals. I won't jump to any conclusions yet. Okay. Do you know anything about this? I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. Where do we need to go? They're all sick and they've all been in the water. It appears that the saltpeter explosion rattled the locals. Can't blame them for staying at home. It's a large harbor. If our kidnapper is hiding here, finding him won't be easy. Interesting. Do you know anything about this? I wish I could be of help, but I can't. Sorry. Looks like there's a lot of things we can do here. What is this? A pile of rotten food. It carries danger, but not of the kind that we witnessed. So it looks like we need to follow the river. satisfy my curiosity sorry sir I can't help you okay we've already been here before I think what we're searching for is gonna be deeper inside this uh, little city area oh blood man there's a lot of blood here this looks like a makeshift, like, a uh, hospital. Gruesome. It's been decomposing for weeks. If this were the origin of the disease, it would have started sooner than a few days ago. The waterway goes under the buildings. We need to find other open sections in order to continue our search. Alright, so yeah, for this one, we need to just investigate the river. 
There is a red cloth here. This might be that place for missing person. And we have a boy. Hello, lad. Is this where I may find Dea? You read the poster? Yes? You know where my brother Girves is? Sadly, no. Well, not yet. All right, let's see if we can help him find his brother. Where did you last see Girves? He worked at a, um, warehouse. This man, Roy Solby, gave him the job. He paid him a ne a necklace. Do you still have the necklace that Salisbury gave to Girves? Girves left it near the, um, shrine. I tried to sell it to buy Alma medicine, but... But no one wanted to buy. That's weird. I want to speak to Dea. Is she around? Alma, my mother, she got sick after the hot... The fire. Big red smoke. She couldn't breathe, so I took her to the doctor. Now I am in charge. How would you describe this Soulsby? He was big and strong. Um, he had a big scary eye. Scary, you say? Yes, like, uh, like it was made of metal. Interesting. Don't go anywhere. All right, let's see if we can do some investigation here. I'm just surprised no one took the necklace, being that this is a rough part of town. This cheap pendant looks like silver, but it's only made of tin. No surprise the boy couldn't sell it. That makes sense, though. I miss Gervis. Do you think he's okay? High profile. So we need to find this Roy Soulsby. And I think we're going to stop here today. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Check out the links below. Next time we'll find Roy Soulsby and we'll figure out what's causing everyone to get sick. I think it might have something to do with the saltpeter, but we'll see.